high fire signs aries leo and sagittarius ascendant sun moon venus rising and those of you that are cross watching welcome to your tarot love messages in today's reading we're going to take a look at and see what is it that your person wants to share with you okay so what are some of their secret confessions that they're holding on to and uh, what information or what secrets are they keeping from you this is going to be a general reading there's also going to be a part two an extension to this reading and in part two of the reading we're just going to follow on from the messages in part one and that is going to be made available to you via the extension link below for those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading one that's tailored to suit you and your situation personally please feel free to reach out and inquire i will list my email address just where the video uh just below the video as well okay now with all of that being said let's go ahead give the cards a shuffle and let's begin so i want you to think of your person and we want to see what is it that they're keeping from you It's interesting because there is an energy of your person talking about their feelings about you and your current situation or your relationship with them but they're not discussing it with you it feels like they're talking it out to their very close family or friends here okay so connecting energies not you um, maybe they don't feel comfortable to do that with you maybe they're scared of your reaction okay but they are keeping something from you they are holding back especially emotionally now, for some of you, I feel like there is, notice how the cards, within certain cards here, there's a bit of a focus on the threes, the three of cup, the, the three of cups, sorry, plural, the three cups that are positioned in the foreground, um, the lover's card, which form a bit of a lover's triangle, and, you know, the three of cups here on the top row. So there's a bit of an emphasis here on three. So it feels like there is more than just two energies that are connected within this reading. There is there might be a third party situation, okay? Um, your person could be attached to someone else. They may be in a relationship or they may be um, even in a marital relationship with someone else. They might just be talking to someone else, but it could, they may be having an emotional affair. So, you know, them flirting up a storm with someone else or them uh, building a genuine romantic interest in someone else, not necessarily taking any physical action towards this person, but, you know, but still it is this emotional affair that might not just have yet manifested in the, into the physical realm, okay? Um, or otherwise, they could be. They potentially could be getting involved with someone else romantically, okay? They may have cheated on you in the past or they may be cheating on you right now. Because the suit of cups rules the emotional realm, okay? This is a, uh, there's a strong emphasis on intuition, so if your partner or if your person has been acting weird lately, okay, if they've act, been acting very strange, not their usual self here, especially when it comes to, um, you know, the talking about your feelings or the relationship itself, um, it does feel like they're keeping some things from you that they wish, uh, that they do not wish to disclose, okay, maybe because they feel like they're not ready to tell you some of their secrets, maybe, um, you know, it's going to the scared how you might react if they find if you find out that they are with, attached to someone else, if that they are in a relationship with someone else, or that they're talking and genuinely interested in someone else other than you. They're scared of the consequences that will ensue if their you know secrets or if their confessions come to light. Um, the, the Eight of Swords is this energy of them being very fearful and very anxious of coming forward with the truth. Because they know that the truth is going to have some ramifications and repercussions. Okay, so the cards do indicate they're talking about their feelings or they're sharing their thoughts here with... It feels like it's um, close connecting energy. So family or friends as mentioned, but not with you, right? Because... It feels like there's something here that they're afraid to tell you, especially with the Eight of Swords energy. This is an energy of, um, you know, it's a very nervous energy. It's a very anxious energy. They're scared. 
Okay, they're scared to open themselves up. They might be scared to be vulnerable. They might be scared how you might react to what it is that they say. I do see that this person might be losing interest in what the two of you once had or in the connection that the two of you have built up. Maybe their feelings for you have dissolved. Maybe the more time that you spend together, they haven't necessarily, you know, they haven't, it kind of highlighted that the two of you, although you have similarities, you also have a lot of differences, which maybe they're a little concerned about. But it feels like there's some sort of concern here that is holding, uh, that is sort of plaguing your person's mind. But it feels like they're, they're, they don't know how to tell you this. And they're, they're also scared of hurting you, okay? They could be unsure of their feelings for you. So, um, you know, if you do feel like your person ha has been acting um, as though they're maybe losing interest in you, maybe they're not as enthusiastic or not as responsive as they once were. Maybe the communication he has, you know, uh, faded. Uh, maybe the spark he has also um, faded, uh, burnt out a little bit. So if you notice they're acting weird or if you notice they're acting uh, strange lately, I do feel like it has something to do with something that's going on with this person. So whether it's their emotions or whether the fact that this person may be cheating on you or is thinking about cheating on you, okay? Uh, also, given the multitude of cups and swords here, your person might be considering other options. So there is this underlying theme of maybe dishonesty or disloyalty, infidelity, or at least thinking about it. Um, or maybe wanting out of the connection, but just not knowing how to tell you this because they're, they're also, you know, if this is a long, like if you, you guys have been in a relationship for quite some time, I mean, it's, you know, it's familiarity, it's comfort, and they're scared of stepping outside of what is familiar to into the unknown. So if you guys, you know, if you've, especially if you're married or you've created a life together, you went into business or you know you know you went halves into a, I don't know a property or um if you guys like basically you know you, you've established a life together here this person is scared to leave it behind because not only would they be leaving you behind they'd also be leaving everything that the two of you have kind of set up together and well it would mean in some way starting over for this individual Your person might also be afraid of their emotions for you. Maybe they feel as though their emotions for you are not as strong as they should be given where you're at, you know, given the stage that you're at in the relationship. So maybe they feel like right now you guys, you know, you need to move past the infatuation stage and it needs to be a little bit more than what it is now. And uh, maybe they're holding themselves back, okay? Maybe they're holding themselves back from moving forward with their emotions or even moving forward um, like physically in the relationship. So moving in together, you know, uh, moving into the next phase, whatever that might be for you personally. I also feel like just going back to the fact that there is a third connecting energy, it could be a past energy. So someone from the past may still be somehow in this person's life, okay? Either this person hasn't removed the, their ex from their life, so they may still be talking about them. The other thing is they may be holding space for their, their ex to come back. And so as long as they keep doing that, and look, they may not even be aware that they're doing it. It may be on a subconscious level, okay? Subconsciously, um, they're holding space for the ex to come back. How will they? How will you know this to be the case? Well, there'll be certain signs that they'll be exhibiting, which will be essentially, will, which will manifest itself as red flags, like them not wanting to move forward with the relationship, them, you know, wanting to take things maybe slow, maybe even too slow, or them not wanting to sort of, you know, uh, talk about their feelings, dismissing the emotional aspect of the relationship not wanting to move forward, not wanting to push forward, uh, not feeling ready. So there are certain signs, okay, certain red flags that will be waving you down, letting you know that, you know, this person may still be hung up on their ex or is holding space for their ex um, or just hasn't moved on from the previous relationship, okay? So, and that might be the third energy that's creating this connection. But your person doesn't know how to tell you this because, they themselves unaware that they're doing it, okay? So those signs will manifest outwardly, physically, okay? Um, and again, they might not even be aware of this. 
I feel like there's a few things here. I'm getting like a few different factors or a few different interpretations. But I do think the underlying theme is that there is someone else, okay? Um, they could be talking to someone else. And like I've mentioned, it's like an emotional love affair that hasn't yet manifested in the physical uh, affair because they don't want to cheat on you. They don't want to hurt you. Um, but at the same time, you know, they may, they may be developing a very strong interest and strong feelings for someone else, but they don't know how to go about the situation. Or they may be already um, being disloyal with you here and keeping that from you. And they're scared that if they are honest with you, um, you know, will the secret that they keep is going to expose who they really are. Because the lovers, you know, the whole nature of this card is temptation, isn't it? It's passion, it's temptation. Whilst it can and often does represent love, it also does represent lust. And sometimes lust does like to manifest itself as love or masquerade itself as love. And I feel like this person here may have found temptation with someone else and is therefore wanting to resist or is therefore giving into temptation or is trying their strongest to resist this temptation without you being aware of it so in part two of the reading guys we're going to follow on with the messages so follow me to part two via the extension link below i just want to thank you all again for your time your attention and energy uh, and please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel bye for now